Hi, this is a GMAT question from gmatquestions.org. Let f of xy equal y cubed minus x squared for all real numbers x and y. Then f of 3, comma, f of 5, 3 equal. We have a function here with two variables, x and y. And here we have something that is called a composition of function. We have f inside f. It could have been a different function, okay? It could have had f and g, but here we happen to have the same function twice. That is a composition of function, and it's not. It looks complex, but it is not difficult, okay, to do. The important thing to know is that we need to go inside out. We need to calculate here f of five, three. First, get that value and plug it in here. Okay, it's inside out, not outside in. Okay. So, find f of 5, 3 first. f of 5, 3 is going to be equal to using the rule, the definition here. 3 cube minus 5 squared. The 5 here represents the x. It comes first. The 3 represents the y. You see? So the order here is very important. You cannot just mix them up. The order the numbers come are shown is extremely important. So make sure about that with function. With regard to function, yes. Okay, that's why I put 3 first because that is a y and 5 is a x I put last. Okay, so this is equal to 3 cubed I believe is 27 minus uh, 25. This is equal to, if you can write f of 5, 3 is equal to, let me write this better. is equal to uh, 2. Okay, so now what we are looking for is f of 3, f of 5, 3. So this is the same as f of 3, and we're going to replace 5, f of 5, 3 by 2, because the value of this is 2. Okay, and using the definition we are given here again, we're going to start with the y, 2 cube minus 3 squared. And 2 cube is 8 minus 9. So finally, f of 3 has to be equal to negative 1. And that is our answer. Okay, the answer here is negative 1. As you can see, it's E. So let's write it down. E is the correct answer. And that's it. It wasn't that difficult. As long as you know the rules and apply them, you'll find this type of question pretty easy. Even though... I must re recognize that uh, many people have trouble with functions. Okay, lots of people really do have trouble with functions. I don't know why, you know, because they don't understand what really functions do. It's just a rule, and you have to respect the rule, and you have to make sure you respect the order the variables are shown. Okay? Other than that, it's not that difficult, really. Thank you for watching. This is a GMAT question from gmatquestions.org.